Hello guys, I need to make two brackets to my spindle. Uh, the spindle right now is fixed with the plaster part, so I need to make two aluminium brackets. And I choose to make it with the lost PLA method uh, with a plaster mold. I use a Fusion 360 to make the 3D model. Uh, I will not give too much details about it. You can jump uh, to the to the 3D printing part if you are not interested in Fusion 360. So I try to follow more or less what I have drawn at the beginning, but uh, uh, I have to make some modifications, uh, do some constraints that. Uh, I found out when I was modeling. <coughs> I'm not explaining uh, what I'm doing on the Fusion 360 because I don't think that will be uh, the point of the video. The point of the video is just to, to show you what I did, how I did. Okay, one important thing the spindle it has a diameter of 65 millimeters uh, and i will leave 1.5 millimeters to mill after casting because i want to have a very good face in contact with my my spindle <coughs> So I have to make some fixation. There, they have some adjustment to to I can play with the, the spindle to to get it squared with the, the machine. The part uh, I add this. Uh, this feature because I want the part just to to fix in two points uh, to make sure that uh, that is well fixed to the, the machine. Uh, this part uh, I have drawn it, but um, this part only will be done after. Uh, the casting of the, the part, so it will be milled uh, on the CNC. At the beginning I, I think that M6 screw was a good option, but I don't have enough space, so I choose M5. Yeah, so this is the part, how it is, uh, will look like. But uh, for 3D printing, I will hide the fixation holes uh, because I want to to have it perfect at the, at the end. So I will mill mill the holes. So that will be the part three of this video. That will be about the the um, machining of this part using the CNC. I use slicer to to make my my G code. I use it a long time ago, so uh, it's very customized to my printer. Um, I choose an eight percent of of infill because um, since the the since the PLA will have to leave the mold. I want it to have the less materials possible. And here is the 3D printing started. This is just some pictures. I let the GoPro uh, making taking some pictures of of the the printing, but the battery uh, ended before the before the end of the print. Here we have the sprue and the runner. These parts they will be welded together. 
uh, right now I'm cleaning the, the parts just to make sure uh, they don't have any any imperfections this is very important so I'm using a soldering iron with 250 degrees um, Celsius just to improve the finish of the part uh, and I will use it to weld the parts together uh, I'm trying to use a temperature near to the, the temperature of the, the nozzle and sometimes I add some material from old prints uh, to improve the stiffness of the, the weld I was considering to glue these parts, but um, since I have to remove the pellier from the mold, I prefer to weld the parts with pellier because it will leave the mold. And uh, the glue, it may not have the same, same fluidity or something like that, so I prefer to weld it with pellier. Yeah. Here I'm just adding some vents to the, the part to make sure that the pellier will get out of the mold and uh, during the aluminium casting to make sure that um, aluminium will get at all the parts. Here we have the finished 3D printing pellier part and the, the next step, the next video will be uh, producing the mold and, uh, and proceed the casting, the aluminium casting. Thank you for watching guys.